For Wheeling University Athletics, I'm Zach Ziegler. It's time for another edition of the Chris Richardson Show. Currently joined by Wheeling University head men's basketball coach Chris Richardson. And Chris, you had two tough battles this last week against Davis and Elkins and West Virginia Wesleyan, both coming down to the wire. Talk about those two games and kind of how you guys handle it and how you build from it. Yeah, um, good that we're in a position to win both games. Bad that we weren't able to execute. And, uh, you know, you shouldn't be in that position late in the game if you take care of some things earlier in the game. And we got to learn from that, and we have. We watched film, uh, had a great practice Monday night, and know we'll have another great one uh, this evening, Tuesday night. So, uh, tough week with West Virginia State and Charleston on tap, but we just got to keep working and keep getting better. And for you guys, you've been involved in a lot of those close games this season. When it comes down to crunch time and the game's so close, how do you keep focused, and how do you how do you keep the keep the mindset on what the game's happening? Uh, you just got to take it one play at a time, you know, one stop at a time, one offensive possession at a time, and I think that's one thing. Not that we've struggled to do, but it feels like sometimes, and you know, this is this is a product of youth at times, is uh, you know we got to get everything right now. We got to get the whole uh, ten point deficit back right now, or we've been up fourteen and now it's a four point game. We got to get it get it back up to fourteen right now. And uh, you know what we're learning and what we have to continue to learn is you can't change things that fast. You have to change things one possession at a time. You got to be patient, uh, and, and so. You know, again, it's good that we're every game we've been in for the most part's been been really close in one or two possessions. But uh, we gotta we gotta come out on the other side of some of these things. You know, uh, we gotta we gotta do a better job taking care of the ball so that we're not in that position at the end of the game. And a guy we talked a little bit about last week, John Cordy, had a career game against West Virginia Wesleyan, twenty eight points to lead the team. Talk about his efforts and how he kind of leads you guys through this stretch. Yeah, uh, you know, John's John's vocal. He's fiery. Uh, he plays with a lot of passion. Our team feeds off that, especially on the road. Um, he, he did a great job against Westland, uh, and I know there's some possessions that we'd all like to have back, John included. Um, but the biggest thing about John is you know he's going to respond. And, uh, you know, he sat there and watched film w with us as a group last night. The uh, whole team watched film last night before practice. And then, you know, he came out and was very intentional uh, about eliminating, you know, not just his mistakes, but helping teammates eliminate their mistakes as well. Uh, and that, that's how you get better. You, you hold yourself accountable, you hold your teammates accountable, uh, and you push each other. And so that's what we're doing right now. And one thing you guys have this year is a pretty pretty deep bench with guys who can come up in key situations and perform for you guys. Having so many guys like that, how has it been managing them and getting them minutes in the game? Yeah, uh, you know, particularly with our freshmen, we got to continue to find opportunities to get them to play uh, so they do get some of that game experience. But then also our seniors, you know, our older guys have done a good job of of coming off the bench and giving us some good minutes. Uh, you know, Dozy played well against uh, the Uville, and he came back. He had a great practice last night. Uh, George Taylor has been very steady for us. So we do. we got a lot of options over there, uh, and we're still looking for ways to, to continue to get, um, you know, as many guys involved as we can. Uh, and, and, and when you're not winning games, you know, sometimes you do look at some, some, some different pieces or some, moving guys around in the, in the different spots uh, to see, you know, maybe you can provide a spark. So uh, our group brings it every day. We've got very competitive group, uh, very disciplined group in terms of showing up and, and giving that effort on a daily basis. And, um, you know, we know that whoever's number is called, they're going to be ready to go. So that's good to have as a coach. Currently joined by Wheeling University head men's basketball coach Chris Richardson. And, Chris, you mentioned a pair of tough MEC games coming up this week in West Virginia State and Charleston. Talk about this week and how you guys are kind of pushing forward with these two tough matches ahead. Yeah, um, you know, two programs I'm familiar with, having grown up in the Kanawha Valley, uh, about 10 minutes from each institution uh, is where I grew up. And so, uh, you know, if, if, if you know anything about the old WVIAC, or obviously the current uh, MEC, you know, these are two of the top programs year in and year out. Uh, they got great support. Uh, they got great tradition. They're going to have, uh, you know, the state's going to have a great crowd tomorrow night, and then UC is going to come up here and not be phased uh, about playing on the road on Saturday. Both teams shoot the ball really well. Uh, Saturday in the games, West Virginia State made 17 threes, uh, and UC made 18 threes in their game. So, uh, got to defend the arc, got to rebound, and, and got to hang on to the ball and execute some offense. When we hang on to the ball and we run our offense, we're really efficient. We're good. Uh, the problem's just been hanging on to the ball. And as you guys start the week going out on the road, talk about this road trip kind of. You had a road trip on Saturday, back on the road on Wednesday. How are the guys handling the road? Yeah, uh, just something we got to continue to get used to. Um, like I said last week, every, every team uh, kind of gets into its own routine on the road. 
you know, are you taking a bus? Are you taking a van? Uh, what time are you getting there? Uh, how uh, available is a pregame meal within close proximity to the uh, to the arena? And with with a lot of young guys and a lot of first time college basketball players traveling, you know, all those little things add up over the course of a day. So you got to be urgent. You got to be prepared. Uh, but you also have to do your job as a coach and and uh, as a program to put them in positions where uh, things run as smoothly as possible. So pretty good road trip to Wesleyan other than the outcome. Uh, you know, hopefully, uh, you know, we, we, we have better all around tomorrow on our way down the state. And finally, talk about some of your goals this week and how you're attacking these two games. Well, biggest goal is to bounce back, you know, just come back and have a great practice last night. So we checked that one off. Now the next goal is to have a great practice today. Uh, we're not in a position where we can look too far ahead or look behind at all. We just got to continue to learn. And you know, Brent Price has said it from our first weight first weightlifting session on. We end every uh, every practice, every team meeting, every film session, uh, every you know post game meeting, every weightlifting session. And, and and it's two words. It's keep working, keep working. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to keep working and let the chips fall where they may. Thanks, Chris. Good luck this week. Can't wait to see you out there. Appreciate it, Zach. Go Cards for Wheeling University Athletics. I'm Zach Ziegler.